Oh, that is a big construction, like a big uh, tower, which is said that Ark Monument. And also some sources, still not con confirmed with us, so some sources they say that the hanging restaurants will be on this, in between this Ark. But below there is an expressway, the construction for the expressway from Doha to the more right hand side, northern city, Lucia. The Lucia city is going to be, uh, they are going to build a stadium for the FIFA World Cup football. Uh, inauguration and grand finale with capacity with 86,500 seaters. Uh, highway there is construction for the Lucia. So the part of the Shamur Palace, so all the securities are here. So the living place, living place of the Doha city now, then we can see the small houses now, which we saw the hotel Shark Village and nearby the airport, same kind of the houses as a traditional architecture. And inside, left hand side, next suburb city is Al Rayyan city, about 500,000 people lives in that city again. So all the living area including some high-end uh, diplomats uh, living area also here. So some VIP areas are regarded this left-hand side. This is all the sites, the new parts, the new construction are uh, going on here. As Qatar, they declared independence 1971, 3rd of September only, as a state of Qatar before declaring independence. It was under British Protectorate from 1916. And before British Protectorate, it was under Ottoman Empire. We are here. So now Qatar as a state of Qatar, Hamad is the name of our former Emir or former King and currently ruling Emir is son of Hamad. So his name is Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Sheikh as an honorable Tamim the given name bin Hamad is a son of Hamad Al Thani is the family name. Again Doha uh, all the people, the original people are living in the northern side and the western coast. Some archaeological side and some uh, ruins were there still. Doha, they migrated early 1825. So Doha, no more than history than 1825 before. So all the development of Doha in the 1920s to 1950 in the old part. So this part all after 1990 or 2000 only. Left hand side is a foreign affair, affair ministry building, like a big fort. So the public means of transportation uh, we do have and the Doha Metro is also going to add as a public means of transportation. So everywhere the construction part of the Metro, one of the project part is on the left hand side of this street. All the Doha Metro will be underground as Doha Metro, it will be four line metro, Doha City, all the underground, other cities will be on the surface. <coughs> so the place we are heading towards now known as Katara. The Katara is also the old name of Qatar, 16th to 18th century Qatar, also mentioned some old maps Katara. But this Katara project is to become a cultural village. They started 2004 only, so all the uh, construction, all the things in Katara after 2004 only. Even the oldest hotels, this part after 2080. So all the buildings, color, outside color are very dim, like the color of the desert. And summer days are more heat full of age and when it is too windy it brings sand and dust to the city so somehow to protect from sand and dust they prefer these kind of dim colors of the houses outside which are also the long lasting color in this country the 
clearance for the hotel intercontinental So we have uh, more entrance for Al Basar Resort, right hand side. And next one after this entrance for the Hotel Saint Regis, there are two statues or twin statue of National Animal Oryx, right hand side, coming up in the entrance of the Saint Regis Hotel. In the premises of Saint Regis, you can see the statue. Antelope Oryx, the National Animal of Qatar. The Katara Gate. So the for the Katara, we will stop somewhere and we just walk for 10 minutes to 15 minutes to meet our bus at next place. So during our walk, we will see some places. But uh, we should walk little